we have all learned about bitcoins and blockchain many people were trying to use blockchain as a database and they saw there were too many issues or too many performance related issues with the blockchain in itself what if there is a distributed database which has blockchains in it let's see what is bigchain db the new scalable distributed blockchain database Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss any update from Tech Primus. Bigchain DB is a blockchain database. It is relatively a new database which is live only for few months or something. They have just created the latest 2.0 version. Let's see what is Bigchain DB and how we can leverage Bigchain DB or where can we leverage Bigchain DB. Bigchain DB uses MongoDB in the backend for the database storage. However, how do they store data? They store the blockchains inside the distributed database. So, blockchain technology features are wrapped up inside a distributed database. So, Bigchain DB can be considered as a database which is distributed. However, it has the blockchain features. So, basically, it is decentralized. So, how blockchain is decentralized? similar to that bigchain db is a decentralized database which has immutable data storage example if you want to push data to the bigchain db that data cannot be altered everything in the bigchain db is treated as an asset and it is immutable so in short bigchain db is a database with blockchain characteristics so let's see what are the different features which bigchain db provides Right. Apart from decentralization, it has a query API engine where you can query the Bigchain DB, like how we used to query the MongoDB. So you can query with the uh, rich REST APIs. You can get the data. You can create application, create asset, etc. The other features are the immutability. So once the data is stored, the data cannot be changed or deleted. So once you create a block inside the Bigchain DB, you cannot delete that. So with the newer version of Bigchain DB, the fault tolerant mechanism has been advanced. So they are using the Byzantine fault tolerant mechanism for the consensus inside the blockchain network. In order to arrive at a consensus, they are using the Byzantine fault tolerant mechanism. Also, this can be customized to have a private network or even a public network as well. Since this is open source, people who contribute are the open source community and there can be lots of applications which will be built around top of it similar to how we see the open source world evolving so you can see big chain db giving the basis for the blockchain database and people using that and then creating different applications over it so big chain db also supports both the traditional stack and a blockchain stack if you already have applications which are normally running in a uh, cloud environment without using any blockchain technology you can still use bigchain db because just the storage part is using the blockchain concept so you don't have to have a blockchain based technology in order to use the bigchain database so if you see this is the architecture diagram which is explained in their website where it shows the traditional stack versus the blockchain stack so you can have applications platform processing and the file systems out of the decentralized or the blockchain based protocols or methodologies you can still use big chain database in that particular use case as well so how is big chain db achieving all these stats so they are using the big data systems basically they are using the mongodb in the backend for storing the data so big chain db is a merger of both distributed database features with the blockchain features so that is why big chain db might exceed well compared to the normal blockchain using a normal blockchain as a database because bigchain db incorporates the features of a distributed database additionally to the blockchain technology so that is why uh, bigchain db might be advantageous so we have to wait and watch because it's a new technology and a new database so i'm not sure how it will evolve in the future 
so that's it about big chain db hope you guys got a basic understanding of what is big chain db and how it works if you like the video go ahead and like it if you haven't subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe to it meet you again in the next video thank you very much